Welcome guys, so uh, this will be my second Wilds of Eldraine draft. I'm doing the uh, Premier Drafts with draft tokens at the moment. First attempt, um, I went 2 and 3 with a uh, red-green food deck. Uh, which I thought thought was pretty good, but uh, we did run into some quite nasty bombs. The um, I think the Griff triplets we ran into in the first game on about on about turn five or six, which is uh, very difficult to deal with for a red and green deck. We see Elvish Archivist again, so we ha we had this in the last in the food deck, which does it does r work rather well in a food deck because it, this guy gets plus two plus two uh, counters, a two two plus one plus one counters every time you play an artifact. So uh, yeah, based on that, we might we might go for food again. So Knight of the Sweets Revenge is an enchantment that makes an artifact. So it'll actually be two triggers on the Archivist. It's in the same colour as well. Uh, I th I think I want to I want to do that. We might try. Uh, a green and black food deck this time. Up the beanstalk. So card draw if you've got expensive cards. This guy can tap things down, which might be quite good. If there is a good green card though, we should probably take it. So that makes food. That goes with our th food theme. Candy trail is food. Okay. Uh, but there's also feed the cauldron, and it's it's a removal spell. And I'm already thinking about going green and black food. So let's do that. Curiosity. Oh yeah, that's a good card. I don't think we, we can go into that. Uh, Right, Minstrosity drops a food token when it dies. It's a good sort of aggro drop. Beanstalk Worm is more for a uh, ramp deck. It is pretty good. That's another ramp card there. But I think let's get Spell Scorn Coven. Can bounce a spell back. Uh, yeah, it's not bad that. I think I'm going to go Minstrosity. I think. Uh, I've just committed to black green food. That's just the right card for that deck. Okay, that's an, this is an OK two drop. That's an OK one drop. What about the warehouse tabby? Well, yeah, you can get death touch on that. There are a few big creatures around, sometimes you need a death toucher. I think it might be better than these two guys. It's like a... It's basically like a removal spell. Ow. Leyline of Abundance. Oh. Certainly interesting. Tempted to take that because just because it's rare and I mean there is a beanstalk worm there, but I'm not that bothered about a beanstalk worm. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this rare. It's going straight in the sideboard because it's probably not going to be useful. Garden scales is actually a pretty interesting thing.
Interesting. Hopeless Nightmare's pretty good. But I think I, I want to take Hardened Scales, honestly. Uh, we've got one thing that gets uh, tokens. Plus one, plus one tokens, so... Yeah, maybe we could even play it. Okay, another Minstrosity there. Not dead after all. Sugar Rush, yeah, let's get a Minstrosity. Candy Trail there. Yeah, Candy Trail. Okay, not dead after all, I guess. It is a lot of one drops we've got already. Okay, ground seal doesn't really doesn't do very much. Let's take a, another oh, another sky beast tracker. Oh, well, actually, our first sky beast tracker. We didn't pick that the first time. Uh, we will take a ramp card. Well, I can make a food token as well. That's nice. Another one drop. What did we get here? Expel the interlopers. A white uh, wrath, basically. Uh, yeah, well, obviously, we're taking that. Um, interesting. It's better than nature's well, isn't it? Green is a bit stronger than black here, so we might. Can we go white green for the food? Is the question. There is a food fight. Wow. Okay, we'll take the food fight. <laughs> we can't really splash this, uh, expel the interlopers, but. the idea with this you can get rid of all the big creatures and save the smaller creatures wow moonshaker cavalry as well yeah i mean i am just i am just gonna t red raft here I think we we'll probably forget about the white, to be honest. Um, so another candy trail there. Prophetic prism might be a very good idea, or we go for a decent two drop, aggressive two drop. I think that actually let's go for an aggressive two drop. Cell sword. Um, cell sword might be usable in this deck. 
Amalek Glutton, though, is definitely very good here. Cheap 6-6 six, six trample, basically. Yeah, I think we're, we're all about the Hamlet Gluttons in this deck. <laughs> we won't get too distracted by red, I think. Yeah, Hellless, Hollow Scavengers, we definitely want. Interesting. I mean, it's not really playable, Primal Vigor, but... Uh, I'm not sure I would play another Sky Beast Tracker. I think I'll just red draft this, cheekily. Not that it's very good, but... Interesting. So, first a creature gain one life, draw a card, you say. Which is all right. Shatter the oath. Oh yeah, sure. Another nature's will. Did I already pick one of those? Twisted sewer witch. I think we need a prophetic prison here. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted by a nature's will. No, we, we need the prism, let's take it. Don't get too into the red drafting, I think. Uh, Sweet Tooth Witch is what you want. Uh, Leaping Ambush, I think, is alright. Okay. Sky Beast Tracker or Rowan's Grim Search. I think we'll take another tracker. Yeah. Oh wow, we got Sir Ginger the Meal Ender. So two drafts in a row we got this uh, to go with our food deck, which is pretty nice. Yeah, because it gets it gets pumped up whenever an artifact goes to the graveyard, so that's why it's good. What's this? The iron iron crack. Well, I've seen this. It adds mana. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it becomes uh, it goes really well with legendaries like Sir Ginger. It gives them plus three, plus three, and um, equips. Does it equip as well? No, it. It just transforms, it doesn't equip automatically. Fari Emancipation uh, is... Well, I've, I've tried a deck with that, it didn't work out. Um, I already have two of them, I don't really need another one. Werefox is good. Candy, another candy trail there. I'm going to go for the Werefox. <laughs> We see another hollow scavenger, which goes with the food theme. Okay, Brave the Wilds lets you find a land though, that's quite handy. But I think I, w I just want another hollow scavenger. I'm just going to cut a few things that I might not have room for. Actually, yeah, we're on 25 cards. Um, so, Garrick's Uprising. Sh another Shatter the Oath. And another Brave the Wilds. I'll t go ahead and take another Shatter the Oath. Ariat's Tempting Apple. Yeah, you can... Uh, do we have a way of sacrificing things? A flyer, uh, another warehouse tabby, a commune with nature. Okay, let's. What is that anyway? Oh, that's a white removal spell. Let's take the apple. I don't know if we'll use it. Um, 
Okay, another minstrosity. Yeah, that's a simple pick. Is that going to be pretty aggressive here? Uh, this looks interesting. So you can draw and discard for two mana and make a treasure token. Seems okay. Another Shatter the Oath, though. I don't mind that. I think... Yeah, maybe we can get away with three re big expensive removal spells. Maybe. Uh, Sugar Rush. Sure. Um, Ginger Brute. Ginger Brute. Or a Ramp Card. I feel like we've got too much, too many one drops. I like the Ginger Brute, but maybe it's... Oh. Yeah, second one of those. Uh, too many one drops again. I think we can get another Candy Trail, though. That's a bit good. Finally, we can get a Brave the Wilds. Uh, okay. Maybe we can splash for the, the food fight. Seems like a good card to splash for. Um, yeah, let's cut that. Okay, this is the mana curve. So we have nine one drops. Um, right. Usually you want two one drops. It should be two. Seven, six, four, three, one. So we, if we go by that, we drop seven of our one drops, a couple of two drops, and a four drop, and we're right on target. We can keep all three Shatter the Oaths, which is quite good. Okay, the uh, next. Oh, right. Now, the Tempting Apple goes well with, a barg with bargain cards. But you've got to pay four mana, and then you've got to pay the mana for the barking card. So it's it makes it very difficult to use. So I think we probably drop the apple just for the moment. And that's our four drop we've cut. Okay, happy with our three drops. We're supposed to drop a couple of two drops. If I add the food fight in, we'll see. We'll see if, uh, yeah, the f if we if we want to play food fight, we've got to play the prophetic prison. But um, I guess we can. If we're not playing food fight, we can't prophetic prison. I like the iron crag. Is there only one legendary in the deck though? Sir Ginger. Yeah, I think so. Hamlet Glutton is not legendary. Oh yeah, Sugar Rush is a combat trick. It does it, it does give you lets you read um, draw a card again, but don't usually I don't usually use these cards, even if they even if they're cantrips. Okay, so of the one drops here, drop you, drop you, drop that, drop that. Mm. Brave the Wilds is sort of... It might be better than Candy Trail. Uh, not dead after all. Warehouse Tabby. I think if we're not... Yeah, again, if we're not playing the food fight, I think we drop the Brave the Wilds. There we go, and then we actually we've cut it down two seven six four three one.
But uh, yeah, we've only got one legendary creature for the Iron Crag. Otherwise, it is just a, a mana rock. So I don't know if... Maybe you play a, a, ma a two mana mana rock when you've got three Shatter the Oath. You're trying to spend... You, 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 well, you've got um, things that take extra mana. mana uh, what do you call them? Mana sinks. Yeah, I think that's a good first pass. I might... I'm going to have a... Th think about this and see if I can fit in the food fight. But uh, I think that's end of part one, so uh, thanks for watching. Okay, and uh, so I, have, I haven't bothered trying to put the red card in the food fight. Um, we don't have that much fixing, I suppose. We've got the prism, we've got the commune with nature. No. No, that's not fixed. Brave the Wilds is a fixing card. And we do have two return for the, from the Wilds. We could we could do it, but um, I like this version of the deck. I might, yeah, I might put Food Fight in later. We'll try this out at the moment as it is. Okay, no black mana, but we do have a candy trail. So we can dig too deep. Three drop and a four drop. We've got a fast start. Oh, that's a shame. So, okay, let's just put these on the bottom. And uh, we're two cards close to getting this one. Really fast start, wow. Okay, I see he's given that curse roll. 3 2. What I was thinking I would sack this for an extra card. We do have Sir Ginger. Uh, drop light. We find his first removers, removal spell. Okay, yeah. Um, I'll just trade off for the 3 2. Okay, so we've uh, we found another 3 1 creature. I think we'll play that. Forest. And we can create a food token. Has another wrap. So that was yes, minus three, minus three, and gain two life. And draw a swamp. That's nice. Okay. So, uh, we've got the hollow scavenger. We can pump it up to five, four. So it's a menacing blocker for him to deal with. And what have I forgot? What does this do? Seven mana. Oh yeah. 
Okay, he's going to cut it in. I can get it to four toughness, but it's not enough, funnily enough. Okay. So he's uh, hitting all the mana for his abilities. Interesting. That got. Oh, yeah, that's got Young Hero. Okay, right. And he's got two cards left. I mean, how much more removal can he possibly have? Yeah, that was the, the Virtue of Persistence. Okay, options here. We could play the Werefox, or we could Shatter the Oath. I think uh, I'm just going to play my Werefox. Oh, it's got Menace, so I can't block it. But this Nightmare means I lose a card, so I'll lose a first. So that becomes a 3-3. Just have to trade off. I'm just getting battered at the moment. And he gets a rat as well. Uh, down to six. So we can make a 1-1 one, one creature with this one. And get a food. We can pop a food to gain three life. Or we could kill a creature. And take three, maybe four damage. Okay, I think the menace is going to be harder to stop, so that's what I'm going to kill. Ideally, we play this and we can block. Let's get a 1 1 and a food token. Well, he's had a nice aggro rollout, I suppose. So he does feed the cauldron on that, and I'm going to take 6 damage. So I'm dead. Because he drew another removal spell. Third removal spell, I think. And he's had just all the creatures as well. Um, okay. If I'd done Feed the Cauldron, I'd have definitely killed one of his things. Uh... I'd have been able to eat food, and I, I would have survived. So maybe that was too risky. Obviously, well, 20, 20 hindsight. It was just slightly greedy, I suppose. Let's pop this and see what we would have got. We never actually had time to uh, pop this and get a card. So just too much aggro. Black, red, aggro. Well, that'll do it. It just hurt to potentially use the removal spell on the 3-1 instead of trying to block with a 1-1. One, one. That, that was just too greedy. Too greedy, you see. Uh, how appropriate. had all those sort of got those um, extra value things in my deck 
which I just couldn't use because I have to keep. I couldn't use the adventures on the creature. Usually, I just had to keep throwing out the creatures to try and block. Okay, well that's uh, at least that's green and black mana. We have two drop. We have a three drop to uh, ramp a little bit. I'm going first with shops. The only thing is it's a four land opening hand. Yeah, get, we get a four drop as well, so that's quite nice. Aggressive to put, just play this creature, but I will go ahead and I could food token will tap for mana as as will a land. Well, after I played uh, Night of the Sweets Revenge, but yeah, let's let's ramp. in the deck out as well. Gracious turn. So yeah, that gets bigger when other creatures die. Okay. Mana. Seven mana. We can do this next turn if we want. I give everything plus two plus two. Okay, that's getting bigger. We have seven mana, we can play both of our creatures. Gets pumped up. So he's at uh, that's his first removal spell. Okay, no blocks. Sweet tooth witch. Actually, if I uh, play this first. Make a food token, will I not? Which I can immediately tap for mana, that's very powerful, right. Out of the earth on the vermin. Wicked roll on the one one, I think. Oh uh, yeah, I don't have the mana to bring that back. Swing for fun. He 
as a blocker. And another blocker with first strike. Right, it's only first strike on his turn. I think it's uh, Knight of the Sweets Revenge time. Let's do this. We should get plus three, plus three on everybody. Got a chump block twice. Now he is gonna hit for four damage here. So if he can do seven damage worth of haste or sort of boosting spells, he's gonna win. There's four damage worth of haste. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, I'm scared. Ramble familiar. No. Maybe we're fine. Right, how do we want to do this? I think we're going to Sweet Tooth Witch. Two damage. Yeah. Okay, I think that's the first time I've sacrificed... Uh, Sacrifice the Knight of the Sweet Tooth's Revenge. Knight of the Sweet's Revenge. Okay, we're going first, which is nice. We have a two drop, three drop, four drop. Seems good. We've got four land to start with, so we might get a bit flooded, wouldn't we? See, you've got a faster start than me. Let's see if he has pacifism from a minstrosity. has a 2-2 two, two knight. I'm going to, uh, doesn't have first strike, does it? I'm going to attack. And I won't go for the food. I think to just roll out the creatures, I think. <coughs> that said... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the food would have been useful for the, uh, the Hamlet Club. So, attacking doesn't look like a good idea at all, so I'm going to play a Sky Beast Tracker. Sort of hoping he, he attacks here. Oh, that's going to be horrendous. And 
it's going to be unblockable, I'm guessing. Right. I can pump that. Uh, pump that. I can uh, bounce that and replay it. I see. Pretty, pretty cool rabbit. Okay, so... Oh. Right. Bargain, you can only sacrifice artifact enchantment or token. You cannot... You cannot sacrifice creatures. Okay. I didn't realize that. That's getting cooped up, sure. Right. Uh, general attack of everything, so that does the most damage. Block there. Uh, scavengers, not much good without any food, really. Uh, I'm gonna just trade off, actually. Red cap thief. Double vigilance token. Oh, of course, he boosted his tokens with that. I probably should have traded off with one of the knights. Uh, right. Okay, handling glutton. Make a couple of food. I believe this can kill an enchantment, so it might be a good idea to kill his pumping enchantment. Oh wow, he's gonna just keep bouncing that and, re uh, yeah. and replaying it. Nice. He's got all the stockpiling celebrants. Okay, I think human creature token and a food token, and I can't attack. Oh, of course, the rats. White tokens. And there we go, that's first the fallen. Yeah. And that's a lot of damage getting through. That's uh, 13 damage he's serving up. Uh, token could trade off with a ginger brute, I suppose. Uh, that's still nine damage. I'm going 
to eat my food. Let's shatter the vigil. Seven mana, so I could put that on the minstrosity to make it a four-two. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, that's a creature that pumps uh, a... Uh, <laughs> for some reason, I thought it must be an enchantment that pumps all the creature tokens, but obviously it's a creature. I looked at it, it's a rabbit. Anyway, I got confused. Never mind. That's cooped up. So yes, I should have killed the rabbit, and he'd have a bit less stuff, but... He had a removal spell as well. Would it have made any difference? The most damage I can stop here is 3. So 6, 10, 12, 14 damage going through. I could have stopped 3 more damage, couldn't I? Um, good game. Yep, nice uh, red-white token stack, I think. Wasn't so much... It sort of looks like I was flooded that game, but... It's just a normal amount of land to draw, I think. It's just that he was very, very efficient. <laughs> and was it because he was scrying every time he was replaying that enchantment? He'd put all those lands to the bottom and just, you know, draw the hits. Okay, we have a candy trail. We're going second, so we're drawing an extra card. I think we can dig for some forests. Uh, we've got. A minstrosity on turn two. I think uh, I'm going to risk this. I think we'll see how far down that first forest is. Wow. Swamp, swamp. Oh boy. Okay, got to put the swamps to the bottom. Going to be another red black aggro deck. He plays his rare straight away. And it's going to turn into lots of little rats when I kill it. Okay, that's not much fun. I think we're looking at a 1 3 uh, result here. Okay. Oh. Great, so he gets even more rats when I kill it with totem taunts. Am I just gonna take the damage? No. Oh, he gets four rats. Unbelievable. Well, there's a forest. That's something. Um. Right, return from the wilds, so that'll trade off for one of his rats. Get me a land. But I can play with the Knight of the Sweet's Revenge, maybe. And Totem Tants. Uh, so the Red Tooth Vanguard would trade for Totem Tants. Okay, I think it's return from the wilds. Human. Get a basic land. Forest into play. So 
the, this is the the run deck. Pretty basically lost already. Probably the perfect start. Uh, you can sacrifice one and get to a card if he wants. He's gonna sacrifice one. It's, it's quite two and draw a card. Nice. And he has an arm. To get haste. I guess to pump him up. I'll trade with a rat. Uh, we get feed the cauldron. Okay. Am I dead this turn? So. Yeah, the trouble is, if I kill other things, he gets rats from them because of totem tunts. Okay. On top of tops. Make a food. At least I've got lots of food. Getting a, a wicked roll. Dead next turn. Now, Knight of the Sweets Revenge. If we tap out, we still have four mana available. In fact, we'll have five mana, right? And I can make a food with that. So that becomes free. So we'll, we'll have five mana available. We can play a Hollow Scavenger and a Red Tooth Fangard and just try and survive the next turn. Let's give that a shot. So this making a food token should be free basically to replace it itself. We got a hollow scavenger. And okay. I think that one gets through. We'll try and trade with a mouse. And kill a rat take five damage and we're, we're probably still dead but not the best that we can manage but it's quite an impressive amount of food I managed to get out of this game at least it's probably the most food I've so I've got potentially you know potentially 18 life points there if I ever get to use that food but this is where all of his removal spells come out I suspect He's managed to do Rowan's Grim Search and a Witch's Mark. So sort of refilled his hand and done some scrying. He's, he actually, yeah, he's managed to do that as well. Interesting, he sacrificed that. He has that, which reduced that, which is exactly six damage, so. Sure enough, I am dead. Nice, okay. Well, we met some uh, interesting decks today. I can say that. So far, we've played two drafts, and I've played food both. I've gone green, red food black green food I've won three games and lost six so it's not it's not gone great
but those were it, it seemed like they had pretty good draws I mean I thought my draws were fine but their, theirs were ridiculously good uh, you know playing their bomb rare on turn two turn three kind of thing seemed to happen every game Whereas I, did, I didn't see my Elvish, Elvish Archivist at all, really, this time. We did, we did see Sir Ginger, but it was just a chump. <laughs> well, it was just um, usually trading off with a Yeah, we got to uh, got to play Shatter the Oath a bit. It wasn't too expensive. We had one Hamlet Glutton, but uh, yeah, we did, we kind of got overwhelmed with um, that's that's two token decks that just completely overwhelmed us. We saw what Knight of the Sweets Revenge can do, and we actually activated it once as well to, to win what to win the one game. But yeah, in the first deck, uh, yeah, the um, black red aggro deck, having stuff on turn one, turn two, and so on, and the removal to back it up. That, that deck was just fast, I suppose. Uh, we made lots of food, but it didn't stabilize my life total enough, I suppose. I was, had to uh, play my other stuff out. And... Uh, I chose the name of the deck quite well because I knew that maybe food wasn't the best strategy. I thought I'd try it again though. Yeah, I think what was... Uh, let's see, our first pick was Elvish Archivist, so you could go food, you could go enchantments with that guy. I think the second pick was Night of the Sweets Revenge, so that that's what settled it. Probably, probably picking what deck I go for a bit, a little bit too early. Did have the uh, expel the interlopers, moonshaker cavalry. I could have gone heavily into white, I suppose. Maybe white green enchantments to go with the uh, archivist. Well, I can wonder about that. Get a mighty 100 gems, I think. In one pack. At least it gets me up to 4,000. Nice round number. Uh, what I'm going to do next is probably get the Wilds of Eldrain Mastery Pass, and that will get me another dr uh, draft token, and I'll have a, a third attempt. Let's see if I can get more than two wins. Maybe I'll go 50-50. Anyway, I think that is the video, so uh, thanks for watching.